Welcome back my YouTube family. I'm your instructor. My name is Rashid and in today's episode we will explore how to use artificial intelligence within Excel for powerful data analysis. I am using Microsoft 365 so make sure you are using a version with AI capabilities. Now as you can see on the screen here's the data set we will be working with today. Let's take a quick look at the columns in our data to understand it better before diving into the analysis. Region represent the area or zone where the sales are recorded. As you can see, we have four regions, Central, North, South and Southern. Territory, specific area within a region. In our case, we are having these territories. As you can see, Aptabad, Atak, Badin, Bahawalnagar and so on. The name of the product brand which is Cabin, Britannia, Digestive, Morning Coffee. Then the actual date, the date on which the sales were recorded. Next, we are having the retail sales, the whole sales and the total sales. With this brief introduction, you are now familiar with the data structure. Understanding the data set is key to making a sense of our analysis. So let's move forward. So first of all, in home, I will be selecting this analyze data. This will bring up a window where I can start my analysis. My first question will be about generating monthly sales trend report. Okay, so this is my monthly sales trend and I'm going to insert pivot chart. Now I'm adjusting the chart slightly. Currently my data is displayed by individual dates but I want to view it on a monthly basis. So I will right click on it and I will be selecting this group. And from here I'm selecting this month press ok now it's showing the combined sales for both years but i want to see the sales for 2021 and 2022 separately so first of all i'm going to click ctrl z to undo the previous task then again i will right click on it and i will be selecting this group and now i'm going to select this month and this year now press ok so what's are looking at here this is a line chart that shows the sales data for a specific years of 2021 and 2022. The horizontal axis here at the bottom represent time starting from January 2021 to December 2022. Each point on this line tells us the sales figure for that month. In this chart we can see that the artificial intelligence detected seven such outliers in the sales data for the southern region. These are the points where the sales figures are either way higher or lower than what you had normally expected. So basically this is our monthly sales trend report so our next report is sales by region so I'm going to type here sales by region and I will press ok so now I'm having sales by region and I'm going to insert pivot chart so this is my sales by region then I'm going to double click on my these data labels then again I'm selecting these data labels and now I'm going to select this label options in label options this is number in my number I'm going to select this number and making these decimals to zero now this is showing me the sales number then I'm going to select these lines and I will press delete from my keyboard now this is looking perfect so on the x-axis i'm having my regions southern central north and south and on the x-axis i'm having the sales the size of the bar represent the sales southern region has higher sales its bar is larger and appears at the top so finally my this report is also ready so our next report is sales by territory i'm going back to my data this analyze data and now i'm going to replace this region with territory press ok now this is showing sales by territory and i'm going to insert to pivot chart this is my sales by territory now here i'm going to adjust its size now on this y axis i'm having the territories and on my x axis i'm having the sales the size of the bar represent the sales of the territory so Faisalabad has high sales so its bar is larger and appears at the top as I have to analyze this data on the basis of region so that's why I'm going to this insert and from insert I'm going to select this slicer and I will be selecting this region okay 
So I will be selecting this central and it will showing me the territories concerned with my this region. If I will be selecting this southern region, so it will be giving me the territories of that specific region. So my this sales territory report is also ready. More you can arrange this report, this chart and this slicer as per you. So I'm going back to my sales and my next report is sales by brand. Okay, so now I'm going to insert pivot chart this is my sales by brand on the y axis i'm having my brands and on the x axis i'm having my sales the size of the bar represent the sales since the britannia brand has higher sales its bar is larger than others and appear at the top additionally if i will click on this plus button here i can activate the data labels more i will be double clicking on this chart and then i'm selecting my these data labels then selecting this and i'm going to this number from this journal i'm selecting this number and making its decimal to zero so now this is showing the sales with these bars then i'm going to click these lines lead and finally my this report is also ready now my next report is sales by days so i'm going back to this home analyze and now i'm going to type here date wise sales report enter and i'm going to insert pivot chart now i'm dragging it on the right side this is showing me my date wise sales but i want to display my sales only for one month so i can get some meaningful insights from the chart so after selecting this chart i'm going to this insert this is slicer and in slicer i'm going to select my years and my months okay right click on my slicer i'm going to this slicer setting at the bottom and i'm going to disable its header okay I'm adjusting it here after selecting this slicer I'm visiting this column and here I'm going to insert 12 dragging it on the right side again right click on this slicer going to this slicer setting and I'm checking this option hide items with no data same formatting I will apply on this slicer right click on it slicer setting uncheck this display header and hide items with no data going to this column and making it so now from here I'm selecting 2022 and in 2022 I want to analyze the sales of November month more here if you want to sort these sales from first to onward so for this first of all I'm going to my this data and here I'm going to add a column of day so here I'm going to type is equal to day day is a excel formula and it required a serial number so here I will be providing this date i want this formula to get day number from this date parenthesis close enter and now i'm going to back to my this daily sales report i'm going to right click on it and show field list so here i have to replace my this day with new day field so for this i'm going to right click on it and i have to refresh it and now i will replace this day with my this day my this chart is sorted from 1st November to onwards. Similarly, if I will be selecting this December, now this is showing me the sales of 1st December to 15th December. Basically, this month contains the sales on 15 days only. At the top of this report, we are having two buttons, sales for 2022 and for 2021. We can switch between two years. Here is also a button for each month. Right now, I'm in 2022 and in December month. In simple words, this report is a daily breakdown of sales for December 2022. It's a handy tool for keeping track of how sales are performing on daily basis. So I'm changing its name to daily sales report. Now I'm going back to my data and I'm going to this home analyze. Now this is my year on year sales report i want it in bar chart insert pivot chart now on the y axis i'm having my years this is 2021 and this is 2022 i'm going to click my this chart this plus button and i'm going to on these data labels then i will click my these data labels going to label options in label option this is number and from here i'm selecting this number and making this decimal to zero selecting this making it bold so this is my year on 
year sales performance so in this chart we can compare the sales of 2021 with 2022 so here we have the table and as well as the graphical representation on the left side there is a table showing the total sales for each year in 2021 the sales 4779 and in 2022 the sales dropped to 3131 on the right side we having this chart the top bar of 2021 showing a longer bar because the sales were high in that year and this bottom bar is for 2022 this is with shorter length comparing to 2021 because the sales are less in this year